Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I want to show you how to use micro SD card with Arduino and BME 280 weather sensor to make Arduino data logger system. Then I show you how to convert data file to nice graph with help of numbers. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Electroni and this channel is all about electro, chem and science experiments. Subscribe to this channel now if you don't want to miss any future video. For today's making data logger we need breadboard with some wires, micro SD card socket for Arduino, BME 280 sensor and also Arduino Uno board or any other Arduino. Links for the parts are in the video description. First of all, insert boot modules into breadboard. Then, connect 5 volt pin of Arduino to positive rail of breadboard. And then, connect cable from positive rail to VCC of VME sensor. Then, connect the ground of Arduino to ground of BME sensor, then connect SCL uh, pin from BME sensor to analog pin 5 of Arduino, and finally SDA pin of BME sensor to analog pin 5 of Arduino. Then connect ground pin of SD card socket into ground pin of Arduino. VCC of SD card socket to positive rail, MISO pin of SD card to digital pin valve, MOSI pin of SD card adapter to digital pin 11, SCK pin to digital pin 13, and finally CS pin to digital pin 4 and this simple circuit is finally done so plug arduino to your computer and insert sd card to socket now for the software part download and install arduino ide link is in video description then also download from video description project and open it with arduino ide you also need these two libraries to include, so I give you the project folder too. Now select board, then select port and click upload. When code is uploaded, data is storing to SD card. When you have done your measuring, simply insert SD card to computer. Then open your SD card and here is matdata.txt file. So open it and then copy whole text and paste it to numbers file. As you can see, numbers perfectly sort ballast from text file to nice columns. But before you paste the data to numbers, make sure you have set these settings in system preferences. Now for making graph, select count and one of column, temperature, pressure, humidity or altitude. Then click this graph button and select your preferred graph. And as you can see, our graph is generated. To look it nicer, go to rows, then select data symbols and select none. Then you can also select other columns. Check my web for more useful videos or my channel link is in the video description for my web. 
I hope you to enjoy this video and if you want to see more don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I want to see you next time.